All right, guys. Sorry, there's no been no videos the past few days. Um, I've been off work. Um, I've had three weeks off, and I just wanted to take the last few days to basically go through and just relax and just stream and just play games. But yeah, um, it's all beer bug, beer bug, beer bug. It's just it's getting depressing. So I also wanted to just take some time just to reset for that. So let's jump into it and let's talk about more beer bug. Oh God, really? Oh my freaking god. Alright, let's do it. Um, Boris Johnson, stable and in good spirits and in hospital. So, Prime Minister Boris Johnson is in good spirits after spending the night in intensive care being treated for beer bug. Number 10 said, Mr. Johnson, who's 55, was stable overnight, have been given oxygen and is not on a ventilator, the spokesman said. The Queen has been sent messages to Joyce, uh, Boris Johnson's family and pregnant partner saying they are in her thoughts. It comes as the Cabinet Office Minister Michael Grove became the latest politician to self-isolate. Mr Grove said that he did not have symptoms, but a family member did. He's continuing to work from home. Mr Johnson admitted that the St Thompson Hospital in the centre of London with persistent symptoms of beer bug on Sunday, it was moved to intensive care on Monday after his symptoms worsened. Buckingham Palace said the Queen had sent messages to Mr. Johnson's family and his partner, Kerry Simmons, saying that they were thinking of him and wishing the PM a full and speedy recovery. Prime, uh, Prince William was also uh, tweeted a personal message of sympathy to the PM family, signing it off with initials Will. Uh, whilst his father, the Prince of Wales, sent a message from himself and the Duchess of Cornwall wishing Mr. Johnson a speedy recovery. Now, obviously, at the end of the day, not everybody is obviously being such good spirits about, obviously, the Prime Minister of the UK being submitted to hospital for beer bug. And you can probably guess who. That's right, Labour MP, it's actually Labour, and they, I like the fact that they've left that out of the title, uh, apologises for PM deserves this comment, but we'll jump into here. Uh, Labour Mayor hit with a furious backlash for saying Boris Johnson completely deserves the intensive care beer bug battle as left-wing trolls target PM with abuse on social media. A Labour mayor is facing a furious backlash for saying that Boris Johnson completely deserves his intensive care battle with beer bug. She is one of the many left-wing trolls who have targeted the Prime Minister with abuse on social media. Mr Johnson was transferred to blah 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 as he fights blah 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 blah. Right, we've already known that because we've already read it. So Borison goes to the intensive care fighting for his life after trying to his best to help us all, and the mayor of Blah, uh, Henta, has said this on social media. One absolute scumbag. Someone has written on, I believe it's Twitter. Um, sorry, he completely deserves this. Is he's one of his worst PMs we've ever had. Um, but that's not the worst of it. Obviously, other people. Poor Boris. No, poor NSHF. F that scruffy man. Um, someone else wrote, Stormy said F. Boris and Beer Bug did the rest. Uh, Boris Johnson in the ICU, F. Yeah, I presume it's supposed to be F. Yeah. We're going to have a party when Boris Johnson dies. Um, Joris Bonson uh, is about to die due to Rona. Thank you, Lord. Uh, it's going to be funny when he doesn't. If Boris Johnson dies, I will cackle manically to say hi to Margaret Thatcher in hell. Hope Boris dies, and you can just imagine here. Um, now, look at the end of the day. Obviously, it's not all bad. Other people wishing the Prime Minister a speedy recovery, get well soon, blah, 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 blah. Um, I want to talk about this. I, I want to talk about the, the vapid hatred that the left have. When, when they talk about the fact that the, the, the political parties don't get along. It's not necessarily a right versus left, left versus right thing. It, it's more of a just a left versus anybody that's not left thing. And it normally comes off with the far left too. So let's, let's call it for what it is, far leftists. I, I can sit down and... and th there was a guy, a stream, who was streaming Star Citizen. I won't mention his name. I don't want to you know, sort of, you know, 
give him any unwanted attention he might, you know, have. But um, he he was talking the other night and he was he's suffering a little bit from Trump derangement syndrome, to say the least. And um, I was sort of in his chat, and I like the streamer. I he reminds me of Colin Carpenter. You probably know who I'm talking about if I say that, but anyway. Um, but I was sitting in his chat and I was debating him on the facts. And, you know, he was like, oh, you know, Trump never did this. He never did anything, you know, blah, blah, blah. And my response is, well, you know, hey, the U.S. is in the top five from my understanding, unless someone wants to correct me on this. But they were one of the very first to bring in travel bans, you know, to the point where the, the media called him a R-A-C-I-S-T for doing it. Well, you know, and you had like people like Nancy Pelosi. Let's not forget, Nancy Pelosi was literally trying to beg people to go to Chinatown to mix with people to prove that they weren't racist during the outbreak. That was that was Nancy Pelosi. Right? Prove that you're not a racist, go to Chinatown, mix, get along, and bring them in a boost in their economy, sort of thing. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's clear, you know, who's pro-America and who's pro-communist in that argument. But regardless. But he was suffering a bit from Trump derangement syndrome and I was debating him and, and chat and I was responding to him. And, and after a couple of minutes, he turned around and said, he pulled the usual, I don't want to talk politics, we're going to stop the conversation there. Especially after I started making him look like a bit like a twit. But anyway. Um... But I can sit there and, and I will tune into that guy's... I was, I was on that guy's stream again today. I was watching him. I didn't respond in comments, but I was watching his stream. And, and like, there was a guy at work who, who, when I first met him, he turned around and he was like, oh, what are you a Trump supporter? And I was like, well, not really Trump supporter, but, you know, he has some good things. He has some bad things, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'll, I'll call it for what it is, sort of thing. Anyway, him and I became really good mates, really good friends. And even after he left, you know, we're contact was staying on Facebook. We, we, you know, he's still on my friends list. I was actually going to message him the other day, actually, again. But, you know, at the end of the day, we, we've kept in contact very sparsely, but still we're kept in contact. And, and I don't have a problem mixing with people that are left, right, whatever, right? you've been on my Discord, you know there's a, there's a guy on Discord who's very, uh, how do we say this, uh, very passionate about certain subjects. And him and I get into huge arguments. Weekly. I think a lot of people tune into the stream just in case he jumps in. Um, but I haven't banned him. I invite him, I, he's still more than invited onto the Discord, and no, I think he's still on there actually now to this day. Um, I haven't checked it. But I was going to say, but even though this is someone whose views I personally have a big problem with, he is very much still welcome on the Discord. But if I was a far leftist, if I was a progressive, it wouldn't be the other way around. I, I would, they don't do that. They don't they don't accept anybody for having a different opinion. For example, say Hillary Clinton. Say Hillary Clinton got stuck down with beer bug. I would never post, I hope she dies. I'm not that type of person, right? And I would hope that anybody that's a Trump supporter would not post that, okay? Regardless of whether we might meme on her or whatever, or, you know, Hillary body count, whatever it may be, whatever it may be. I don't want her to die from the beer bug. I'd want her to go to prison, but I don't want her to die. Right? And and I don't think anybody seriously would actually want that. The left on the other hand, yeah. They they would they would here's a mayor. Here's a mayor of your local one of your, your towns over in the UK saying that he deserves it. Now, obviously, she's come out and apologised. Of course she has, because she's had to. I, I personally, I would love for her to get fired. And I don't care if you're left or right. If you come out and you wish the Prime Minister of the UK dies because you don't like their political point of view, you need to be submitted to a psychiatric hospital or something. You have issues. 
You have problems up in your head if you don't like someone because of their political point of view and you want them to die. You need help. This girl looks like she needs a lot of help. There's a lot of her to help. But at the end of the day, you need help. And I reckon now the only reason she's apologised is because she's been called out for it and she's worried she's going to get fired, lose a job, whatever it may be. Personally, I think she should. I, I really, really do. And I don't care if it's left or right. If you wish someone was dead because of beer bug, obviously, go and help. Get, get it. Get help. You really do need help. Okay? Even Hillary Clinton, which I despise. I despise that swamp creature. I would never, especially on Twitter, post that, or even think that I hope that she dies from beer bug. That's just... That's a new low. It really, really is. But, I don't know, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think this is just a left thing? I, I can imagine there's probably some people on the right that would probably say it about Hillary if she was infected. I probably... I can imagine. But... And, and those people, you need help as well. Regardless of your political affiliation. You need help if you're wishing people dead because you don't agree with them. But let me know any thoughts are in that comment section below. There is another video I'm going to put up today uh, regarding Stephen Crowder and the New York Times, I think it is, or NBC. NBC. But there's only going to be two videos, guys, today because the vast majority of this is all about beer bug. And I'm tired and I want to go to bed. And I'm back at work now and I've literally already had to do extra shifts at work. Oh, my God, it's so... Oh, I know, but at least I have a job, I suppose, that I'm... I'm needed. But guys, yeah, let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next Demonetized video from YouTube. Two videos today. We're going to ease back into things. Let me know what your thoughts are. Have a great night. Enjoy, everybody. Safe, safe.